Hey guys, Puppet Master Nate Washington here, back again with another video. So good. Right. Anyway, guess what I'm doing? Probably know by the title, because it's right there. But anyway, it's called... What is it called? I, I don't remember. Anyway, but I'm doing a project for school. Not just any project, not like my last... What? Video that was like, what, two years ago? I don't know. But it's a it's a actually a cool project, and it's not just cool because it's cool, but it's cool because I, it's got cool stuff in. It. So, yeah. Anyway, well, this is about Japan, medieval Japan, <clears throat> and the uh, ancient their what their weapons they use, what the samurai were, and what the weapons they use. Well, the samurai, they're the military nobility, or like the officers or high-ranking people in the military in Japan. In, like, the medieval period, we'll do the ancient, ancient, uh, the, the ancient Japan and feudal Japan. The samurai... Oh, and they're, they're still, they still are, they were, they still were in the early media, modern Japan, too. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Anyway, their main weapon was a katana. Now that's a really long sword, right? It's it's really it's a really good sword. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. So it was used in it was used in ancient J Japan and feudal Japan. It was made in no it was it was made uh in 1392 to this day. So it's still being made. So if you want to go to Japan and you want to go buy yourself a big sword. That's the place to go. Okay, anyway. Well, the 1392, where it started, was the Muromachi period, is what they called it. It was characterized by its distinctive appearance. A curved blade. Or a curved single-edged blade, sorry. With a circular guard and a huge grip for using two hands. You gotta make sure you use two hands, because if you don't use two hands, it's not gonna work. It's too heavy. Anyway, anyway, the uh, type of wood it's used is called lacquered wood. Lacquered wood is, is coating over the wood to make it look nice and shiny, to keep the wood good. So the average blade length is 60 to 73 centimeters. I actually happen to have a wooden version of it. Yes, I do. But before I do that, I gotta read through this manual. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna read through that anyway. That's too long. Anyway, so I gotta I gotta wear this this glove. Make sure. Well, not for this one, but I have a glove to wear just in case. I got a pencil. So that's checked off. Uh, I got a safety helmet. I won't need that yet, but you'll see in a second. And I've got some two really really sparkly and shiny balls. I'll use this for either targeting practice, or they'll be completely useless. Anyway, check. Alright, what else did I need? Oh, pencil, check. Did I already say pencil? I already said pencil. Okay, next. Anyway, let me go grab this real quick. Oh, wait. So, I mean, you can see the other one kind of right there. If you can see this little black skinny thing right, right here. Anyway. This is what they call, or this is a model, a wooden version of the Cantana. As you can see, if you can see, right here, it's got, a, oh my gosh, right there, right here, there's a little circle round part right there. Yeah, right, right, right there. That's the uh, cover. That's the little circle part I was talking about on the Samurai Sword. And you see this? Right there where that circle part starts, right here. From all the way down, that's the grip. Because you gotta use two hands. Because if you don't use two hands, it's not gonna work, okay? And this is the rest of this is blade. So if I just hold it here, it's gonna go outside the camera. Because it's so long. And it's not it's actually not that heavy. But I'm sure the real one's pretty heavy. It only laid about one point one uh, kilograms. Not kilograms. Yeah. Ounces. Anyway. Yeah, ounces, ounces, that's what it is. But, whew, 
Woo! They only they strike a number of different ways. Uh, two ways they like to strike is let's say they're standing in their position like this, right? They can start right here. They bring it back because you have to have full body motion because it's a really big blade. And you want to bring it all the way through. So another one way is they bring it down right down like kind of at an angle, like an X angle. They can do X angle. And then another another way is they can step back and they can jab you right in the middle, right there, right where your heart is, where your guts and all that extra stuff in the back of your body. And then they'll bring it back. Okay, well, uh, that's enough of that. They also use samurai also used uh, bows and arrows, knives, daggers, but another one that I happen to have. It's called the Naginata. This was also used by foot soldiers, so it's not like, you know, it's like super special. But, I think it's cool. So, it's another one of the Japanese blades that's kind of like the Katana, but it's in the full form of a pole weapon. So it's kind of it's kind of like a spear, but it's not a spear. It was also used in the uh, feudal Japan. And by... Yeah, I already said that. Okay, anyway. I'm gonna go get that real quick. First, I gotta put on my safety glove. Alright. Gotta make sure I have my phone ready, just in case I chop my head off, then I can go call someone. And I gotta wear the safety helmet, because I don't want to chop my head off. Alright. It's tight, though. Okay. Anyway, this is a real Naginata. It's not sharpened. Well, th this is just a cover. Don't, no, it's not black. Okay, it's not black. But, this is just a cover. Right, right here, this is lacquered wood right here. The bottom part, that's lacquered wood. Uh, this is a real one, yes. And if I were to pull this cover off, yes, it's very shiny. And it's good, it does that glint thing. If I move it closer and back farther, and I turn it, yes. You like them. Well, there goes that. Okay, so, this is why I have a glove, because it's got grip. Okay, so, like I said, it's kind of like the Quintana, except it's different, right? Okay. So, it's kind of hold like this, but I kind of like this one because it's got a bigger extent. I don't have to worry about, like, being too close to you because it's not a sword. I can sit back here and jab you from all the way back here. Or I can do the same thing. Slice down. Slice down. Or maybe not that way. More. Slice down like that. Another way. Yeah, that, 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 that. you get the point. Anyway, it's a really nice blade. Very sharp. Well, this one's kind of dull because I don't want to sharpen it and chop my head off like that. That's not a very good idea. But it's a very, very, very lethal weapon. Just like the Kintan. Although the blade's not as big. Let me get this so you can compare it. Uh, can you see that? No, you can't see that. So here's the... Quintana, that wood part right there, that's all blade, and that's the, the this right there is the shiny part, so starting from about right here, where my arm looks like a snake kind of, right there where it meets, that's where the blade, that's where the uh, blade starts, where my hand is, so, it's not as big, no, not nearly as big, but, it's still cool. It's still a mess. Okay, well, after that, I can take off this helmet. <sighs> Stuff checked off. Oh, I probably don't want to cut my head. I can go set this down now. So, helmet, thank you for being a help. But I don't need you anymore. Uh, right. Something that's nice. I really like, like this. Really nice weapons. Stuff, and it's, it's really, it's really elegant. There's a lot of markings and stuff on it they like to put on here, just to make it look nice. Like, I don't know if you can see this one, 
Oh yeah, you can. They got like dragons and other stuff on it right here. Anyway, any questions you have, ask me at school. Don't ask me at school, and then ask me at school. Good. Alright, and no, you can't try it. Don't ask. But, okay, now it's time for some shiny balls. The only thing with the shiny balls is, is it's shiny to you to see it. So if, I, if they were to type, type it out, that bag with that baby, but if they were to throw something up, right, let's say a watermelon, the sword, I, I'm going to try and show you. I'm not sure if I can hit it like they did. But, the way they hit it, uh, it's kind of like the X shapes and stuff like that. So I try. I don't know if you see it. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Okay, you see that. Anyway, you'll be able to hear it. So if it hits, it works. If it doesn't hit, then alright. I don't know if that's going to work. It works. Okay, anyway. That's all the time I got for right now, guys. Make sure you hit that a like and a subscribe button. And I'll see you guys uh, next time.